You look anxious. Look, Urban, you found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about the character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password, Sayo. Got it. Apparently you can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own homes. Psst, you. Got water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal per gallon. I've got nothing to say to you. Get the fuck out! How'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. Thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah. Peacock singing the hell out of cars.
think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of Risen Glory Cognac. And some cigars. Hmm, Cubans, the box says. Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. <sighs> Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. Was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? What's it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why did you attack him? Huber was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half-assed Hubi. 
And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I... I... What? Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, and I'll think. Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Guten Tag. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one, for balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. You fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people half assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. 
Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? You won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? Oh, you're something else. But you still have a lot to learn, kid. You lied to me about Hubie. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you are still alive, neither do you. Right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden.